Hello Virgos and welcome to my channel Indigo Goddess 1111. I want to thank you all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. For those of you who are new, thank you for joining me here. For those of you who are returning, thank you for coming back. Um, if this video resonates with you, make sure you like it. I'm going to start releasing channel messages um, weekly and that's how I will determine who gets released first um, is by the number of likes. So go ahead and like this if you um, enjoy the message. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it's for April 15th through the 30th. So Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for our Virgo friends? For the week of April 15th through the 30th, what do they need to know? Okay, big next couple weeks for you guys. So be starting off the week of April 15th, um, you guys could be dealing with a fire sign female who has decided to turn their back on the connection, turn their back on waiting for you. Um, for a group of you, uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius um, on the side, or I don't know why I said Sagittarius, a fire sign. Um, but this person is realizing they have options and they are tired of waiting. They are going to um, go out and look at those different options. This is gonna kind of uh, put a fire under your guys' ass to move in the direction um, even though you've been internally battling this back and forth in your head, not sure which way to go, um, I see you making moves towards this fire sign. Now, it doesn't have to be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This could just be their energy or somewhere in their chart. But um, there's also a water sign female here in your energy as well and you are refusing to make a choice between these two people. Um, could be a, a male dealing with two females or it could be a female dealing with two males. This is a general reading, so, um, but this, there are three people in this situation and you haven't um, wanted to make a choice between the two. So now it seems as though the two are turning their backs um, the fire sign female is going to go um, explore their options. You do have uh, you do have communication opening up. Um, you are going to uh, yeah, you are going to open up communication about this person that you want to have a relationship with. You are realizing that this person um, in your energy is who you want to build a solid foundation with. Um, this sneaking around behavior that has been going on um, is not going to lead to a new beginning. Um, it's time to stop doing things in the dark and let everything come to light. I do see you successfully laying down the burden though. You are um, laying down this relationship um, that you are currently in and victoriously moving forward. You also have the Six of Wands and the main spread as well. So finishing out the month of April, I see you successfully opening up communication with this fire sign female um, about a relationship that you want. And it's not coming without uh, without battle battle wounds. This has been a hard road for you guys. Um, the tower is coming down somewhere in your life. It has already started. It's already happened. 
Um, but you are victoriously going to move forward from this energy. You are going to offer your cup to somebody. Um, once you pick a path of who you want to be with. Uh, I do see for this group of you, it will be with a fire sign. I apologize, I just dropped half my deck on the floor. Um, I will just take note of those cards. It was the Chariot, Justice, and the Page of Pentacles. So I do see you moving forward. Um, for a group of you, you're getting separated or divorced from somebody that you were with. Um, and offering your pinnacles to to somebody else very heavy spire sign all these cards are wands except for this female up here um yeah it's all fire here so you are going to offer your love you just have to um you have to pick a path you guys are stalled out um and it's time to move. It's time to stop worrying what everybody's going to think. It's time to stop um, putting everybody's needs ahead of your own and to follow your heart because you are not happy where you're at now. You are not, um, you know, way too many cards, but, uh, okay, spirits tell me to take them. So you're not happy where you're at now. You need to move forward in the path. Um, of your own happiness. I do see you allowing this chapter of your life to close. You just have to remember to have strength. Um, you have the power over the situation. You are not controlled by the situation. The situation is controlled by you. And it is guided from the universe. What has been done in the dark is going to be illuminated. And not only uh, that, but you're going to have illumination um, to what you see the problem is. To um, what, uh, what the universe is guiding you to do, because this is your soulmate. And if you wait too long, your soulmate is going to be gone. You're not going to get that passionate new beginning because they're tired of having to sneak around in the dark with you. So they will move forward if you don't, um, come towards them. You are not emotionally satisfied with the situation that you are in. And here's the temperance card. Very heavy Sagittarius energy here, Virgos. So uh, spirit is calling for balance, for healing, and for movement. Um, movement towards this fire sign. Yeah, it's just all fire here. So Virgos, it's time to, to take control of your own life and to do what it is that you want. Um, for a group of you, you are with somebody else right now. And it's not emotionally satisfying you. They're not emotionally satisfied. But yet you're refusing to make a choice. And um, this choice is going to cost you um, that relationship that you're intended to have, that you're meant to have, that you want to have, if you keep um, wasting time. That's advice for the last week of April. So yeah, your advice from Spirit is in this first week to um, to get balance, to face your fears, to end relationships that need to come to an end. For a group of you, you're filing for divorce. For another group of you, you are finally coming forward with your feelings with this person that no longer satisfies you um, and bringing long-term relationships to an end. And Spirit is calling for to, to let your life bring balance to your life and if that means letting somebody go then let somebody go because either way one of these people are going to leave your life whether um, you miss your opportunity with your soulmate with your um, the person you're divinely guided to be with or you're going to have to let go of the person that you're currently with now um, also you're not you're not seeing something the universe is trying to hand you a gift the universe is trying to um, put something in your path just for you and you're too busy um, wishing and wanting that you're not seeing it's here for you. You just have to take the steps to do it. So um, don't be so quick to um, keep your feelings hidden. 
Allow the things to come out. Allow the things to surface so that your gifts from the universe can, can come to you. Because once you take this step, once you move in the direction that you are divinely guided to move, your ships are going to come in. Your blessings are going to come in. And, um, and things are going to turn for the better. You're going to be warmed by the sun and your blessings will come in. You just have to pick a path and go with it. So Virgo, I hope you liked your um, bi-weekly reading for the end of April. I wish you luck and may you have a beautiful rest of the month. Enjoy this new moon energy that we got today and um, may God bless you on your journeys.